six, almost seven months old. Icelandic Elements is a private tour company. You can contact us for any types of tours in Iceland. Enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? I'm here with a legend himself, Snorri, my friend. The West Viking on Instagram, Varkurin, as you know him. Uh, the mission today and tomorrow is to go hunting one of the most beautiful salmon rivers in the country, Stora Laxá, I have personally only fished uh, the, the beat down, furthest down, which is called beat number one. Um, so I am extremely excited about uh, exploring more of the area. It's my favorite thing to do in the world, basically, is to uh, explore and, and get to know new areas. So, what we got here, guys, is a pack of the best hunting terriers in the whole country. A six, almost seven months old. You had three litters of uh, mink hunting puppies recently. Yeah. And this is your favorite one from all of them. Yeah, really. She's a great character. Smaller than most of them. Listened very well. <laughs> so brave. Yeah. Too brave, really. Uh, Snorri and one of the local guys went down um, one of the small creeks here that runs into the river. So. Um, we are moving the cars. I got Misha and Orca here with me in the front. Uh, we are um, going to drive down here and um, see if something happens. This river, like I said, is one of the most beautiful in the country. Ba -ba -ra -ye -ra -ra yeah, 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 yeah. As a fly fisherman and a nature lover, I want to give a huge shout out to all these fishing clubs and uh, individuals who are hiring professionals not like Snorri to uh, control the mink population or, or hunt the mink. Uh, the mink is a beautiful animal and all that, but uh, you don't really want to see it or um, know it's there while fishing because they, as you know, kill and destroy uh, a lot of wildlife. Okay guys, we've been walking through this uh, extremely likely area, beautiful countryside here. I'm so uh, happy just being able to get to know this area better. Um, yeah, no mink yet. But we're gonna continue, of course, do our best. We have um, way more areas, many more areas to check out. At this point, we have uh, had already picked up the scent of the mink. Both Misha and her mother, Loka, were running faster up the small creek. Uh, wiggling the tails, showing all the signs of uh, them picking up scent, so um, the mink was close. Loka is 11 years old, she is uh, still really active as you can see later in the video and uh, extremely good at hunting. Okay guys, pretty sure we have found the mink. Ja. Det är ju för att jag helt enkelt ser en. Jag vet inte sen kom upp. Jag regnar och fylgas med dig.
Ik heb het lekker allemaal vlot maar. Shit, we komen links in de Ja, dat is Oké, guys, ik weet niet of je Ja, hoor, kijk hoe we niet aan. Ja. Oké okay guys, so as you can see it's not is. Ah, Anna saw one, you saw one? Ah, come on for after in there. Okay. Come on for. Hello. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you saw one? Oh, you see her. Hey, I'm This was pretty awesome. I'm so happy how uh, Orca was working. So uh, we are now driving up to this farm. Look at the cars of the check out. There's some uh, pretty cool American cars there. Also one um, more modern old police car. Old Mitsubishi Lancer looks in mint condition. I am all about the Japanese cars, JTM, but these are fucking nice. These are my type of cars. No, I'm a, I'm a JTM guy. The challenge. Okay, yeah. So uh, we killed the mink, as you can see, in the last um, last session. So we've uh, kind of covered two areas, you could say, two sh small areas. We're about to uh, check out this third one, and. Um, Yo. Well, the, the dogs did awesome job on this last hunt. Misha, Orca, you saw her. I can't uh, describe, guys, how beautiful uh, the area is here. I've uh, once fished uh, the beat number one furthest down, caught the first fish of that year. I don't remember exactly what oh. year it was. Oh, is it liking it in there? Oh, it's extremely uh, likely this small creek. Okay, we're going out, starting the dog. to the lowest beat of the river, beat one. Uh, the local boys tell us that it's most likely to find mink here. We've covered a big area already. Uh, you know, most likely it, it's been the small creeks running up from the main river in my opinion. Snorri is the expert of course, he might have other opinion on it, but... Uh, no, I'm, I have the same opinion. And also here in front of us you can see these grass banks, they often like to hide in those. But uh, let's see what happens here, down, further down the river. Where are 
alveg rauðfeldi Já það ekki, bara beint í steininum If you could see it on the camera, but Snorri just sent the two dogs over to the other side. It's a pretty big river. And then just called them back like nothing. And they just swim over this heavy current, these small terriers. He's a pretty good dog trainer. Has uh, been breeding these uh, extremely uh, well uh, behaved and trained dogs for a long time now. That is of course where Misha and Orca come from. I don't know if you can hear me from the wind, but look at this trail here. This is a typical mink trail, you can see it really well. The dogs are showing signs of uh, some smell. Pretty obviously an uh, area where mink goes through. This female mink managed to escape us. Snorri came up with a plan after we had been looking for it for, for a while that uh, he knew she would come back to her den where her pups were. We saw that she had pups. So uh, he came back with Jager only, one of his best dogs, if not the best. And uh, yeah, I basically just did wonders. So it was a great plan that worked out really well. After Jager had uh, searched the area a little bit, jumping back and forth over the creek, he all of a sudden took this long sprint down the small creek and then a 90 degree turn over to the other side. It was amazing to see uh, how he just knew that the mink had moved further down. So he used the wind and then, like I say, took a 90 degrees uh, turn and boom, there it was. So the mink is here? Yes. Did you see the run? He ran very fast and the scent just gave him the drive.
<laughs> okay, now it's time for barbecue, boys. Yes! Yes! I'm so as you could say, as you could see guys, um, yeah I took a run for, I don't know, 500 meters down the bank, he knew exactly what he was doing, we caught the mink uh, underneath the rocks here as you could see, hell yeah, nice job. Yeah, I'm not a grill, I'm <laughs>